Have you ever heard the phrase, reap what you sow? Well, let's talk about it. Hey everyone, this is Miguel from Strategy Rewind Podcast, and you're tuning in to the podcast that focuses on strategies and mindset necessary for a breakthrough moment. And oftentimes we have the mindset that we can go at it all by ourselves. Guess what? You reap what you sow. What exactly does this mean? Reap what you sow means that you'll end up with the forest if you sow many seeds. You see, oftentimes we find ourselves feeling alone, feeling frustrated and irritated. But ask yourself, have I been pushing people away or embracing them? We're often shocked that we can't move forward in our plans or project. The question is, have I been sowing enough? Another variable, of course, to consider when actually deciding to go ahead and sow a seed, another variable to consider is the soil. You see, I don't know much about plants and seeds, and I don't have a green thumb, as they say, but one thing I know for sure is that some grounds are ready, while others require that you work them and that you do the prep work. So with this, there are some people around you that are actually ready to sow in you. But there are some people that realize that you're not ready to do the work. And so now you have to consider, if you have to consider, am I ready, am I ready, or am I not? Am I willing to do the work, or am I not? And the other side of this is everyone around me. Are they ready? And are they willing to put in the work? Because the last thing you want to do is invest in someone who isn't ready to invest in themselves. So for this reason, I would encourage you to start investing in yourself. And when you invest in yourself, you'll often find that people are then more willing to invest in you. Invest in yourself. And when investing in others, invest in those who are ready. Of course, some individuals try to fake it until they make it. And let me tell you, I hate this phrase because I believe that if you can't trust your skills, you can at least trust the preparation, the process, and eventually your knowledge and your skills will meet. There's a story of Michael Jordan when he was playing with the Chicago Bulls where he actually did not want to retire However, the owner of the Chicago Bulls was not going to re-sign the coach, Phil Jackson. And to show his loyalty, Michael Jordan decided, well, then if he goes, I go. Well, guess what? Michael says the following. He says that when he was going to make this decision of retiring, he actually didn't want to do it. He felt forced. However, he didn't want to do it because he felt like his knowledge of the game and his skills on the court had finally come to a point where they were harmoniously linked and he could actually do his best work. Now, think about this. This isn't fake it until you make it. This is put in the work. This is sow the seed. And you reap what you sow. If you put in the work, if you put in the seed, if you put in the time, if you invest, then you'll find yourself with a forest. And oftentimes we are left beneath the burning sun because we have not put enough seeds to build shade for ourselves, let alone shade for the future. Today's conversation was necessary, and I believe it's pivotal in your journey. But the question is, what's next? Where do you go from here? The next step is for you to set up a free 30-minute strategy session. Head over to MiguelLeBron.com or click on the link in the show notes. It's necessary for you to take all of the things you've learned and apply them so that you can have a breakthrough moment.